another year goes past. Another opportunity to play Final Fantasy IV. And that's the only reason why I actually let the intro run, because that is the only time that uh, I've seen anything regarding that. This is the main show. This is what we're here for. We are here for Final Fantasy IV once again on the 12th year. And unfortunately, things that from my original content creation days have long since departed. But I found out that the uh, YouTube channel that I used to uh, that used to be associated with the website that I first reviewed for has gone. So literally, the only thing I have left is the content, is the uh, is the creation date of the document of my review of Final Fantasy IV, and it was for this one in particular. Now, last year we did the Pixel Remaster, which was embarrassingly easy. <coughs> this year, I'm not entirely certain what to do. It may just be a vanilla run. For the 10 year anniversary one, I beat a version I had never beaten. Coming to the anniversary, I showed that the Pixel Remaster really needed some tweaks. And this year, I don't think I should really be doing that much. But also, I'm not going to do the GBA version, because it's literally just... It's a choice between the GBA version and the PSP version. PSP version runs better. That's the only reason why I'm doing this one. We must prepare for battle. If that's worked, Misty, I really hope it does. Because I can't hear it. If not, I'm going to have to fix it. Nation. Yeah, I'm gonna have to count close that one then. Okay, that means that uh, that means that it's not worked. Never mind. I will uh, disable it for the minute. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. I mean, I've got a week to do so, so I will, at some point, fix it. Back into familiar boots. Imperial March of Baron. Also, there's certain things I feel like the uh, Pixel Remaster did wrong, uh, as opposed to the original uh, programming of Final Fantasy IV. Oh 
guess in the retranslation they also um, also fixed a bunch of the uh, the translations because that's normally bomb um, bomb ring. But Carnelli and Signet, that actually makes it a bit more easy to conceal the true identity of it. I need to go and get the extra items that are in one of the rooms. Wait, so I'll just blocking it. Forget that bit. Sid with all his massive beard glory. Hey, come back, how's it going? Head home, otherwise my wife is gonna whip me to death. Very powerful wives in this universe. At least this year Cecil is not naked in bed. That's always a plus. I feel this uh, Sprite of Rose is probably the most accurate to her um, design, which is a lot better, I suppose. I'm just a sucker of Final Fantasy 4. Strangely enough, it's like maybe the third Final Fantasy I ever finished. But it's the one that I love the most, which is weird. Yes, Misty, an entire village. I don't know if anyone wants to know the order. First Final Fantasy I ever beat was nine, then seven, then four. <laughs> and then ten. Overworld we go. Much flatter. <laughs> Let's go with these massively zoomed in sprites. Also after the blaring trumpets that did pick the remasters um, OST. I much prefer the uh, the toned down version of this one. Compared to also the bass heavy version of the DS. It's 
also, I'm also trying to figure out how much of the content I want to do this year. Um, I could do Sylph Cave again. <clears throat> or I could do the bonus dungeon this year. Like with these are the painful, it's not exactly seeing everything that's the goal here, it's more uh post game. So it's the uh it's the it's the the bonus dungeon that allows you to do a bunch of different quests for more powerful items. Cause that content is still in this version. So nice to note, a uh, continuous flag. I'll eventually run out of versions of Final Fantasy IV to play, and then I'll have to move on to something else. But because I've got so much, so many RPGs on my plate at the moment, I um, I decided not to do the DS version because that version is incredibly long. Pixel Remaster for all three games does not have any of its bonus content from the GBA ones, which I don't understand personally. No, I don't. I, I missed a treasure chest. Go away. <laughs> Miss Dragon, shut up.
Although I didn't, uh, I didn't do Pink Tail last year either. Very glowy dragon. Um, stream day for this week. The next. Three days are. See, Sunday is Mega Man X4, we're gonna do the Sigma fights. Next two days of Battle Network 4, and then the week after, I'm streaming Monday and Tuesday instead, because my working life is a mess. And then it should hopefully be back to normal. I do like some of the added effects that they add for um, they added for the PSP version. It's a lot snappier. Also, one change that I do like in this version that Pixel Remaster does have uh, is that time persists a lot better. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't expect people to stay up past sleeping times. I feel that's wrong. Okay, there we go. Surprisingly enough, I have played the, uh, the PlayStation 1 version, <laughs> and that was even more awful. I think that was the first year I did this. I did the, uh, the PS1 stroke original Japanese SNES one. And I hadn't beaten it until two years, uh, yeah, two years ago, so. Uh, we had a glitch, and uh, I managed to make a glitch of the Ragnarok disappeared. <laughs> It was in my inventory, I walked out of the last dungeon, and then it was back on the pedestal. Don't know how that happened.
Oh, V is auto. That's not what I want. Oh, there we go. I still survived the damage. S is my S is my menu. But yes, an auto tent feature. That's one of the weird things that happens in this version. Well now we are alone. We are but one. Yeah, that's right, I didn't raid Baron before I left either. Oh. Can't get all the items there until I come back anyway. I've beaten after years and I don't like it, so I'm never playing it again. And it wasn't the PSP version, which is actually easier. It was the PC version. It was shit. <laughs> it's also knowing some of the mechanics of um, FF4, like Bio is an instant cast. This scenario is either Ridia's or Golbez's. It's a retreat, doesn't get off an attack. I've got to prepare for this being hard next year if I'm doing the DS version. It is considered the, one of the harder Final Fantasies to play. Most because there's mechanics that Final Fantasy IV was never made for. Um, you can, it just takes a lot of setup, and I don't know what it is. Just really lazy about it as well. The items here in Kaipo. It is, but I can't remember quite where they are. Okay, she has all the basic cloak. Yeah, and this is one of the few times we get a portrait of Naming Way. Sewer code. I don't know where I'm going to get around to sewer code into. I was going to wait for the remaster, but I don't know exactly when the remaster is coming out yet. Taste burb.
Xylophone is away. Supposed to be that really are. There we go. Smooth as butter. Mm, that's another one that another series I need actually need to buy Wild Arms one. And perhaps four, if I had enough money. Yeah, Although five I will have to play an emulated version because my version is in French. I think I have Wild Arms 1, I have for the PlayStation 1 Classics, 2 I have the actual discs for, 3 I have the PS2 on PS4 version, uh, 4 I don't own, and 5 I have as a French, the French 10th anniversary version. Really is going down. This is not, um, rose. Be fine in the back. So I think at the moment the only game I have on my radar, and it's a, probably one of the worst games I have on my radar, is the uh, Mr. Gimmick re-release because I'm stupid. Nope, took too long to kill the water bug, it's gone. Diet ration. Yeah, it's Final Fantasy IV, one of the few games in which has the pig state sound. Turn into a pig. Turn into a pig. I just need to get Teller, um, and then then we will uh, rest, and then at least we can start frying things. So I used all of Rydia's magic to summon one bird, and then it then it flapped off. Should be here. There he is, old man. That's silly bard. Tell her why are you in the front row? Oh, 
Also, one of the weird things that this version has is that being at max has uh, a green, a, uh, a green uh, text, which I don't quite understand. Tell her. <laughs> the more you level him up, the worse he gets. Tell on is playing up. A oh, hold. A move that I still to this day have no idea what to do with. Very rarely have use for paralysis. Uh, it was press if uh, the original versions is pressed right and left enough. Um, in this one, I can't honestly remember. Black magic thunder. Oh, I can do it that way anyway. Oh, I'm going to be dragging around a dead Riddia in a minute, I think. Well, not. Also, potions heal 80, not 50. Which I don't quite understand. Oh, there you go. Nope. Massive toads. And they're ready for battle. Oh, of course. It's toads. Sweet ice. <coughs> Settle is not amused. Just Oh right, yeah. Amoeba has re-raise. Spell which costs over forty MP. Literally the start of the game.
there's a mallet. I don't think I'll need it though. I've rarely had any instance of um, being minied at all. And the worst state of settlement I get every year is uh, confusion. I think this is the first year I've ever been toaded, so. Three years of the same nonsense and only had rare status ailments once. I don't think I get really a game levels doesn't really mean much in the long term plans of things. I think it comes back at like whatever level Cecil is minus three. So Ready to go again. Also, I have a feeling that I might have to skip uh, Forge Job Fiesta this year. I plan to do one more year of it, but I don't know when yet. Aha! Zombies! where most MP get sunk because Cecil can't attack. Oh no, it might be... No, I think this might be the version in which that doesn't exist. Mm. Sprite holding a ball of magic rather than him constantly breathing into his cape. Much better effect.
losing track of where I am. <laughs> I've played this a few times, I still don't remember what I'm doing. That says everything, doesn't it? This one, one of those times in which the uh, PC version would alleviate PS uh, yeah, PC ver version might alleviate that frustration. But it's not like I've played this game at least two different times in the last two years. Kind of on <laughs> move it also pilot. One fragment will be useful very soon. I have no reason to really use it otherwise. Ah, there's something like 220. It takes a while. Let's get rid of one. Amoeba is not dying. This is concerning. Saving all my magic for the next area because it's got all the zombies in. This situation of sleep would be useful to cast, and I just can't think of it.
I've already run out of magic. Only picture remasters. The only time I ever not run out of magic in this one. In this one random cave. Now the process begins. Hmm, random Mater's kiss. I'll take it. Toad! Wait, if I get this encounter list for, like, for the rest of the, uh, the dungeon, it'll be pretty sweet. I wouldn't be annoyed all the time. Oh, oh Toad Ogre's already here. Ready to party. Part of my brain is thinking, hold on a second, did you remember to map everything? Okay, I mapped it for my controller, not for my pe not for the keyboard. That is a problem. That's the fight I'm going to run from. Because I can only do damage with one person, and that is Teller. It's Q. Oh, for goodness sake. It's Q and W. <laughs> That's what my runaway buttons are on PC. It's 
Cloud joining the party soon. Right, time to throw myself down the <laughs> down the waterfall. You know what, let's just leave the zombies to it. There's more than enough in the world. Tiny mages! Lenta Haggins! Remember, proper etiquette around tiny mages. Just to only hit them with a fist. You must prove to them that you are strong. Come on. Go away, zombies. Hey. Back to Resident Evil. Oh, another game that I have to play at some stage. Resident Evil 1. Still haven't really picked a game for Halloween yet. I think I'm even going to do one. Like some, some years I have resisted doing anything like that. Uh, I have the GameCube version. It's, for some reason it was left in my care. Although I have the PS4 version as well. Oh, alligators are back. Ah, no. They're much more annoying way of fighting, which is double attack at once. The only thing that I remember about Resident Evil remakes, um, original remakes, uh, actually, no, it's the director's cut that has the, the party horns in the in the basement. Right, boss number one, Octomammoth. Please do some not nonsense here. Yes, okay, come on. But not that it matters, I'm already ploughing through his tentacles anyway. Right, time to summon the xylophone. My Lord Cecil, my Lord Cecil, the only thing we must do is stop all the Japanese safe pornography. I don't think you can summon Factor though in this one. That's um, only a Final Fantasy six. Uh, no, not six. Um, seven thing. Not long my terms. Yeah. I know. 
There's a lot of censoring of me, actually. It's very fickle. Tentacle. And there it goes. One shot these. Let's put on the fast forward. Sound of someone slapping many pigeons together. Very tragic about what happened here, yes. Do you have any items? You do. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Dead guy. Bye! He's all mine now. version that still has a limited number of arrows. Yes, it does. Which means Rose is going to be kind of useless most of the time. That's one of the weird changes they made to DS, which they didn't keep for this one. And it's even in Pixel Remaster, so I'm yeah, it's one of those ones where I don't quite understand why they kept this one design feature. Oh, it is time! It is time! A bard! Gotta smash! You spoony bard! Beat him to death with a walking stick. <laughs> also, Edward's portrait in this is fan fucking tastic. Angry Sage will kill us all. Being attacked by plants. Also, this translation makes Edward seem a lot more vulnerable. Slap across the face. I like that subtle movement of the sprites where he just kind of turns to the side as he's been slapped across the face. Even with this, there's so many good little tricks. It's like when I played Lisa, um, you'll see that, like, Marty Armstrong's 
face just moves one pixel down to make it seem like he's moving to one is looking to one side. Behold, hovercraft. It looks actually a lot more like a hovercraft in this one, which is kind of funny. No, no, no. Um, that's literally just like in the first 30 seconds of the game. But I will keep mum. I have streamed it, and that's all I'm going to do. I've streamed the whole thing. Did it in the uh, more powerful enemies. Went well, actually. It's a nice short RPG. I wish there were more of them. Well then, here's 2,000 hours. Off you go, bitch. I don't remember if Edward has his alchemy but, um, support. I um, alchemy support command in this one. Yep, oh, we have turtle. Although I am noticing that magic power doesn't seem to affect attack power. Because uh, Rydia is now hitting for basically a spell power worth with that ice rod swing. I am actually kind of happy for the uh, auto <laughs> auto attack in this uh, version of the game. Cause, uh, holy fuck, do I hate this place. <laughs> it's like one of my least favourite dungeons. It's just so slow. wondering because I think the first I think the only thing I'm gonna run away from is yellow jelly everything else is like easy kills I also still need Edward to have at least a small amount of leveling because he's going to be with us for a minute. Also, there's a fly that's just gone past my screen. We've already done the challenge run as it is to, you know, just make Cecil naked. Why not? Um, <laughs> Gold needle. Yeah, I'll need that later. I 
any advantage playing Pixel Remaster has over this version is that also, also in this one is just auto attack, not repeat last action. Leave. Ah, there it is, the Lamia Harp. It is confusion. Didn't realize Edward could hold bows, but eh, whatever. Exit. Useful. I do not have uh, warp. Not, not warp, sorry. Teleport. I'm just going to remember there's two different ones. It's warp later in the series that is all encompassing. Looks that lion. Here's Anthony Lion. Actually, looking like a whirlpool for some reason. Anthony Lyon, here he is, massive head. Uh, Sal, he does have it. I think I'm also taking the time to do, like, oh, right, he can pin counter attack everything. My bard song. Sound verse. Random silence, okay. Yes, it's physical attacks, uh and line will counter. But Chocobo, yeah, Chocobo can do what it wants. Dane Sandpearl. Where's that emergency exit? Also, I have limited inventory space, so I'm gonna have to uh, get rid of certain things. Eight goblins out in the wild. They breathe it. I've got a better idea. I 
think this also like keeps this fresh in my mind in case I want to do uh, free enterprise. have not changed anyone's equipment, so I'm still doing well, so... There you go, Rose, I have the, uh, the sand pearl that I've just, you know, hidden down my trousers. think that Rosa wears the trousers in their relationship as king and queen of Baron. Big as a hagin. <laughs> Anna with a full sprite. how far I got with the Pixel Remaster version before I called it quits on the first stream. Because I know the original PS1 version I got to after... After, mount, after this mountain. My brain, my brain wants to say Colts, but it's not. Um... Hobbs, isn't it? Not Hobbs. So I need to equip Rydia, uh, Rosa with nothing. Oh no, you need to hat. Literally only just getting my notification. Or is it just being dumb? No, it's telling me the weather. Why why is why why do you insist on telling me the weather? <laughs> Adult pressure. How is the weather? Um, 
overcast at like 15 degrees. not raining in England at the moment. Much as that is the popular myth that it always rains in England. I don't think it's raining for the last few days. We have skellies. has less MP than Rydia does, and Rydia's done at least two magical attacks. Yeah, make it that as what you will. just learned rains. Yeah, the, the, I don't know why I have the uh, closed captions, apart from the unintentional comedy. Oh, yes, blood.
Ah, spirits. Finally. With a tongue that has a second set of eyeballs on it. Now we have Yang. We have Crazy Monk. We hold him praying. Mother bomb. Here we go. That's what I was waiting for. Very angry, very angry mother bomb. We do like reusing this sprite for this game though, because see, this appears in pretty much every single piece of Final Fantasy IV literature and media that we consume. Because it's, I believe it's the final boss of uh, Interlude as well, for some reason. So Interlude only takes an hour. Alright, that is code word for Start Defending. And then all the bombs just bounce out. So uh, quite a nice neat little effect. Completely different. The problem is, these can still explode. There's just one unfortunate problem with looking at Yang's sprite here. It 
Same problem I had with ta with Terra in the original SNES sprite. It just looks like he's wearing tighty whities in a specific colour. So, best. I like the fact that Yang only has a tiny moustache in all of his official art. In this sprite, he has a moustache that goes down to his nipples. Getting every single time, Yang's defense when you get him is shite. It's unbelievably bad. Because he's not wearing a hat. I want to enrage a bunch of Final Fantasy IV fans and say, yeah, I find Edge is the most useful character in the last boss. <laughs> Just to be really annoying. Which is true, I'm one of the few people that can make Edge work. Over Mount Hobbs. Onward to Fabul. Oh dear, that was a bad idea. That is Gatling Hog. Gatling Hog is annoying. Lullaby! And stick. Prayer and answer. that Yang has going for him is his high vitality, other than that it's not great for most of the time that you have him, most because his defense is so bollocks. Take the demon armor stuff. Uh, 
those next. Get him back. I need two lightning claws to scan him as well. That's it, that's an art, that'll show you a moment. If you keep selecting no, it'll just keep telling you to say yes. Here we go. Time to start punching. Dexterous. Hmm. Oh no, they're just that strong. Because I'm probably a little weak at the moment. For some reason I always finish this game a little under leveled anyway, because many boss strategies always involve requiring uh, Rydia and Rosa to have at least learned Flare and Holy respectively. But every single year that I do this, I play this game so far, uh, Rydia has been under leveled and dead on the floor. and. Um, <laughs> Rosa has never learned holy. No, she no, no, she learned it one year. That was it. So I'd like to know when this guy actually got into our numbers, because he's been with us the entire time. Pullover. <laughs> and the captain still beats a retreat because it is an AI for some reason.
Ready your sword, fool! Not like many other JRPGs, this is... Did you hit something? Uh, yeah, I think I... There's like a plank of wood behind my desk. And just... I think I may have just picked something up and dropped it. Now ah, here he is. Although this um this portrait doesn't do Golbez much justice, I think. I think it's better his other versions are a bit better. And then shit. Just casually absorb Rosa into his cloak. Why do they leave Riddy? This is like one of the weird things of the story. Because. Riddy is seen as like this big threat to, uh to Golbez, and yet he completely leaves her alone. Contrivance upon contrivance. <laughs> Alright, let's leave. Don't let you get the demon shield until after you've done that soon. I might be able to finish Mysidia before I cut stream today. Which is better than the PS1 version and worse than Pixel Remaster because I think Pixel Remaster got to the same location. Also, Deathbringer in Pixel Remaster is neutered, and I don't like it. It has a, a something like a 60% chance of inflicting instant KO, but on zoos it inflicts 100% of the time most of the time. Or it's 80, so absolutely baffling. Um, but in Pixel Remaster, it's something like 25%. It's awful. Cut him.
We have found the Mage's Tower. It is a single tentacle. <laughs> we know it's Leviathan, but it's not his... There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> that now looks like Leviathan. <laughs> Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> Slavathan shows up. Oh no, there we go. Oh, look, there we go. Holy shit. I forgot this was in this version. CG version of being cutting down the plug hole. Right, on my own for the minute. Until I meet everyone here. Yeah, really is fine. This is fine. Now all the yours. Stop. Oh no. It's difficult. Off we go. I think you can buy better equipment for Cecil at the very least. Here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Lustrous shield, Lustrous helm, and knight armor, and gauntlets, which are all very, very expensive. Off with healing staff, I always fuck up every single time. And strangely enough, they are more resilient to earth magic. Kind of weird. Is that. Mm, you need a flame rod, mostly because of what I'm going into. Uh, how much cash do I have left over? I have enough for maybe the shield and the hat. I mean, you don't necessarily have to buy this armor. It just makes it easier if you do. Death. It's 
because I think last year, was it last year? Yeah, last year I did the, um, the weird tactic you can do with, uh, Palom, which is to bluff, which doubles damage with ma next magic spell. Um, it is actually incredibly useful, I just need Fira before I do it. Ah, Azu! Oh, Palom's dead. And KO. Just in time! <laughs> And KO! And it's gone again. <laughs> that, that's the thing I hated about Pixel Remaster, is that they removed that. Instead of being able to basically knock out a zoo whenever you want. Ah, you can't do that any longer. the little things. Scarmiglione. At least she looks a little bit more bound in that one. That's the, one of the weird changes they made for Picture Remaster was that they, uh... They, uh... I think this spike's like nest size, which I was like, hang on a second. <laughs> That's not correct. So this nest game. Why do they get nest sprites? Whereas these super deformed sprites. I think someone I met, someone I know in like the streaming capacity said they were ugly. Which I was like, what oh, wait, 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 wait. You're saying they're ugly, but the GBA ones are fine. Wait, what? I got an encounter on the same spawn as a... Oh, whatever. As a cutscene trigger. Don't you know anything? No, he just doesn't care.
Okay, fuck that. <laughs> The undead are now plaguing me. May as well kill them on the way back down. So I'm going to lose any money that I have. I know better than to engage these lot. Also, it speeds things up a little bit. Paul doesn't have Fira, does he? He has Blizzard, but no Fira. Eh, I can still work with that. Oh, that's a Lilith. Hi. There's Fira. Okay. Everything's in order. Alright, Scarmiglione! Bluff. Bethel is now completely useless. Just to show as evidence, yeah, he is absolutely totally useless. Um. Ah, vampirism. One of them. All right, black magic. Boosted Fira. Yeah, pretty just re much removes all of them. With the flame rod on, that's also increased damage. Also point out, Scumic Leone, however, is not immune to being slapped about by the Dark Sword. Why that happens, I have no idea. But uh, round two with him, that comes back on, which is weird. That's another normal Fira. Close to dead soon. I can't remember anything. Oh, thanks, Tom. Before that. So, for some reason, he's deciding to stay stubbornly stay alive. that much in the way of tents at the moment, so...
but I am going to do something very quickly and cheekily. So, on this bridge... That would be more of a spoiler. The fact of what he actually starts this position of the fight with. My true form. Die! Become one of the undead. Right, I still have the bomb fragment, I think. Go. Breathe this and walk as the undead. First energy. She's slow. Hermes Sandal. Oh, I forget. Hermes Sandal is only on the person that uses it. Magic Fira. Once again. Thousand four hundred and thirty. I can find a lot of newcomers to this always use twin cast, and twin cast is not that reliable. Actually kind of useless. And also, Esuna is for 20 MP. Don't go overboard with it. There's one. There we go. Actually, Scar Miglione you can do in four rounds of Palom. That's it. That's all you need. Whee! <laughs> okay, and for this, I'm going to quickly use the restroom and I'll be right back.
Don't touch the holy sword. Let out your hair. Now, Kid Me was kind of stupid when it came to this game. I didn't realize how scripted this was to just use defend. I actually tried to kill him manually, and he has a lot of health. There's not like just four different dice. <laughs> I'm sure as to how much I love Final Fantasy IV that for any load times and whatever, I can always get heart like within the first three hours I can always get Paladin Cecil done. That's without learning any speedrun tricks at all. I've got it. I know that voice. Now, Cecil has reverted all the way back to level one. He has the Mythgraven Blade. On the Lustrous Shield. Lustrous Helm. Which is literally all I can give him. Oh, curse! I forgot Curse was an element in this one. <sighs> Watch that slur bar slowly fill. does not know us sooner yet. Strange that Lilith does not count as one of the undead.
dismantle deals done. That's not the thing I want to do, but never mind. Leave. But now this area becomes a bit more deadly because Cecil can now no longer just instant kill zooms that he finds. There's a reason why it reverts back to having like low class enemies because if it didn't, it would be kind of shit on me. Hold. Hold. Just keep whacking him with sticks. He'll give up eventually. armor. That's all really. I think the knight's armor gives the most defense here. Yeah, 10 defense and six, 3 magic defense. It's actually very useful. And the myth of Final Fantasy IV. So I think Palom's best spell that you can get, if you decide to level him up, is only Quake. And Quake is probably a very good spell, it's just not the one that I would use most commonly. But it's one of the few spells that can bypass Reflect, so may as well make use of it. <laughs> Oh, I forgot the uh, tutorial village was basically still in here. No, oh, time to leave. Back of the armory. I think. 
Oh, right, I need the Baron key first. Bust into your girlfriend's house. Why not? In, let's go punch Yang. And guardsmen, we have upgraded. We also know a few extra abilities. But being tiny will not stop me. I will make this even weirder. Oh, poor cutlets instead. Well, I think that might be a bug, because I don't... Cecil should not be able to cast white magic in, in mini form. Uh, bio. Eat shit. And he's already poisoned, so that makes things even easier. The teller has run out of magic, so it might not be best for me to pick him up. is one of the worst spells in this version of any version of Final Fantasy 4. It's really bad. Go oh, uh, okay, I'll take your I'll take that back. Does Yang have that much magic on him? <laughs> Just died to being punched in the head by a tiny Cecil. Sad dad.
I'm also, I think I'm actually kind of under level for where I actually need to be. Normally, but yeah, I can make use of it. It's not DS version, it's not unmitigated any dog shit. On occasions. Let's go procure items. This is Wrath. It's only useful for a little bit, then it's not really particularly useful again. It's only if I want free casts of Thunder Magic. Oh, but they removed his thunder claws that I bought for him earlier. Huh. That's annoying. Alright, I need to get some money then. That's that's weird. I I imagine that's just a programming bug of this one. Okay, this is probably the one I will show, because I don't tend to do the dancers. So let's show this one. Oh, she can't dance because of the kinky rules. Never mind. I'm going to quickly save. Mm, do I want to do leave Kagnazo until next time? Or do I want to go through the waterways now? And usually when I do my anniversary stream, I always stream a little bit longer, but I start late, but... I imagine I can do most of wa uh, Baron Waterways pretty quickly. money that I can buy a set of claws. Up. 
Ah, Giga Skater. Still weak to Blizzard. <laughs> There. Uh, let's continue on then. Oh, hi. <laughs> I think I'll be running soon. <laughs> uh, mostly because of that. on him. Well, um, he deserves no mercy. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to be leaving before I can get out of this. It's not prepared. It's more because Yang has one piece of equipment and it's not a particularly useful one either. Not for here. Oops. 
Zezel's still kind of weak, despite the fact that he's uh, leveled up quite a few times. His strength stat is not good enough. So that worms are very, very resistant to uh, magic, which is weird. Teleport, don't you? No, you do not. Why do you not have? Oh, you do. But I can't use it. Odd. Put a gi on uh, Yang now. That's a little better. I mean, the only reason I'd buy Ice Claws at this point is to exploit uh, Kagnaza's very strange susceptibility to ice. But that requires it to be in a very specific phase, too. Alright then. Let me just take this down. So, tomorrow, next two days. Let me just close down that. Next two days are uh, are uh, Battle Network Four. So uh, yeah, Let's see who is online. It's gonna be me sifting through various things. Can see who is playing what. What are you playing? They are offline. Okay. That's always good. <laughs> um. Is anyone playing in the Final Fantasy 4 category? That's not me. We've got some, a few people. But most of them are free enterprise, and I'm not doing free enterprise. Ah, uh, crap. I literally have barely anyone online at the moment. There's always a problem. Um, what have I even got? I'm also finding people that are uh, in the same sort of pile as me. Yeah, I'm not finding anyone, so I'm just going to raid someone I know, and then I'm going to bug out, so... They're playing Tears of a Kingdom, but literally I have no one. So, I'm going to end my stream, and then I shall wander off. 
go to bed. <laughs> That's it. All right, I'm out. <laughs>